What up, what up, Winbush here. And working with brand and IP, color is always important because these companies spend a lot of time and money creating their brand identity. So having color accuracy is always important for any artist. Now I've been through a fair share of monitors throughout my career. And I mean, I've even reviewed a few of them here on my channel, but this will be my first time experiencing a BenQ monitor. And you know what? I dig it. I mean, this is the first 4K designer monitor with 144 hertz refresh rate. So we're already speaking my language. Plus it comes factory calibrated right out the box. So it's pretty much ready to go right out the box. I'm just saying, working as a professional motion graphics artist in this era of a lot of streaming shows, I've been working on a lot of graphics the past couple of years at 4K, 60 frames per second, or if you want to get technical, that's 59.98 to be exact. And I have to say, with this monitor being at 4K at 144 hertz, it's hitting all the right marks for me. So long story short, I can really appreciate this monitor. Plus, I gotta give big props out to the designers of BenQ because if you flip the monitor over to its backside and look at the bottom panel here, where you have all your different ports for plugging in your HDMI and display port. I mean, with this BenQ, the way that they designed it in such a way that even with the monitor facing against the wall, it's still easy to hook up the cables back there. I mean, just look at the way that the back panel is. It's nice and flush against the monitor. And I do want to be upfront because BenQ did send me the PD3226G before its release so that I could put it through its paces. But after working with it for almost a month now, I'm pretty comfortable using it as a part of my normal workflow setup. So no cap at all, I am going to use this monitor moving forward. I'm actually going to replace out one of my monitors here because I do have a dual monitor setup. But I can tell you right off the bat that BenQ did craft this monitor with creators in mind. I mean, they're saying is always accurate and consistent colors in which one of the nice features that I can personally appreciate that they have is their color management software that's called Display Color Talk. And that goes and syncs your colors between all your monitors. Now I've had my share of fights working with editors on different TV shows in the past. Shout out to all you editors out there. You know exactly who you are. But those disputes usually always happen for me, at least over some color space issues. So using this other piece of software that they have, and this is going to be a tongue twister, it's called the Palette Master Ultimate Color Calibration Software. And this comes with it as a tool that I feel like is going to help us work some of these kinks out in future projects. Now, don't work just in TV. I do work in game as well, in which I won a couple of awards for some of the video games I have worked on in the past. So as someone that works in games and also games myself, having a high refresh rate is really nice, especially when you're playing a game with the homies like Monster Hunter Wilds, where it leans on its fast action paced movements. So it's nice to be able to appreciate playing the games the way that the game developers were initially envisioning it whenever they were developing the game in the first place. Also, if you've been a long time follower of my channel here, you know that I do all my tutorials in 4K at 60 FPS. I've been doing it ever since the beginning. Not only to look smooth, but to also look good for anybody out there that's viewing my content on their tablets or even more recently TVs because you know TVs now are really big on YouTube. So being able to natively work in screen capture at these settings with this monitor is something that's really important to me. And if you know me, you know I love little gadgets like this. So the PD3226G actually does come with this wireless puck that will allow you to set up your different settings like brightness, contrast, and volume, but it's also customizable too. So you can add shortcuts for your creative programs like I showcase a lot here, like Blender, Cinema 4D, Unreal Engine, and more recently, Substance Painter. Anything that you have inside your toolkit, you can set up the different shortcuts to work with this puck. If we want to talk tech specs, it has Thunderbolt 4 and Display P3 support. It does come with a Thunderbolt cable and a high ultra speed HDMI cable too. So that's always nice. And it also has KMV support for anybody out there that might need that in their setup. The screen size is 31.5 inches with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. And it has an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. But if you turn it on the side, you can also use it at nine by 16. So if you're doing some content out there for like Instagram or TikTok, you can turn it on the side and continue to work that way as well. And one last thing, you don't want to peel off the mat. Whatever you do off your monitor, you'll actually see a warning sticker in the upper right hand corner. This yellow sticker here, this is warning you that if you actually peel off the mat, this is anti glare mat on there, and you're going to ruin your monitor if you do put that off. So do take heed to that warning because it's extremely important that you leave your monitor intact, especially because you're spending a lot of money on a nice Premier monitor. So once again, I want to thank BenQ for sending me this monitor a month ahead of time for me to go ahead and put it through its paces. And hopefully, if anybody 
everybody out there is looking at a new monitor because I know I've recently had a friend that I actually referred this to so I know he's on the wait list but if anybody else out there has any type of questions leave them down in the comment down below and once again my name is Winbush subscribe if you're new and until next time stay fresh keep creating and I catch you in the next video I see you soon take care